Welcome to the Hardware Services Guide for Arista Networks 7000-7150 Series 1RU Gen 2 Data Center Switches. This video provides information concerning safety precautions, handling, removal, installation and verification of field replaceable units specific to Arista 7000-7150 Series 1RU Gen 2 Switches. In this video, we will cover the following topics the 7000-7150 series 1RU Gen 2 data center switch overview, rack mounting, powering the switch, power supply, managing airflow, LED indicators, and verifying operation. The content in this video is an addendum to the quick start guides and does not cover all the safety precautions found in the full guide. For complete safety precautions and specifications, see the safety and compliance guide. For access to the quick start guides, go to the support heading on arista.com, choose the product documentation page, then select the hardware tab. For data sheets, go to the products heading at arista.com, select the corresponding switch series bar. For cables and transceivers information and references, go to the products heading at arista.com and choose the transceivers and cables page. The tools required are as follows. Standard hand tools such as screwdrivers may be required. Certified lifting devices may be required for chassis and fabric modules located above 5 feet. A serial port RS-232 and a computer may be required to verify operation using the command line interface. Verification procedures for successful FRU replacement via LED status and CLI commands are provided within each FRU replacement section immediately after the FRU item is installed. A list of CLI commands pertinent to verification is also summarized for convenience at the end of this presentation. Some activities in this video require CLI access. Please refer to EOS Configuration Guide to learn how to access this with CLI. At any time during your installation, you may contact Arista Network Stack by phone, web, or email. The Arista 7000 and 7150 series are 1RU fixed configuration switches that support hot swappable AC and DC power supplies. And they also feature four N plus one hot swappable fan redundancy with colored coded fans for front to rear or rear to front airflow. Prior to installation, equipment should be inspected to ensure all components are present and not damaged. The 7000 series switches normally ships as a bundle with two power supplies, four fan modules, pre-installed in the chassis. The 7000 series switches also ships a four post rack mount kit, two power cables, one RJ45 Ethernet patch cable, and one RJ45 to DB9 adapter cable. Before racking the switch, be sure you have enough space in and around the rack. As the name suggests, these switches require just one rack unit of space to fit in. Next, determine which side of the rack will be front and which will be rear, keeping in mind the airflow configuration of the switch, hyphen F or hyphen R. Handle color indicate airflow direction. A blue handle indicates air inlet module. A red handle indicates air exit module. The 7000 series supports two post or four post rack mounting. This video covers four post rack mounting procedure. First, attach both right and left mounting brackets to the switch. Next, assemble the rails onto the equipment rack. Next, insert the switch into the rack and secure it with bolts. The 7000 series switches features N plus one hot swappable AC power supplies, each with integrated fans. Power modules are installed in the back of the switch. Power cables are connected to the power modules in the back of the switch. The system is N plus one power redundant, which means only one PSU is mandatory for an uninterrupted switch operation. The switch will continue to be powered on if one of the two PSUs were to fail. 
it is recommended to install both power supplies and connect the power supplies to two different power sources to provide great redundancy. Please refer to the full Quick Start Guide 7000 Series 1RU Gen 2 Data Center Switches. For access to this guide, go to the support heading at arista.com, choose the product documentation page and select the hardware tab. For access to the 7000 7150 Series 1RU Gen 2 Data Sheets, go to the products heading at arista.com and select the corresponding switch series bar. Plug the power cables that were supplied with the chassis into the AC power sockets. Ensure that the switch is properly grounded. Remove the terminal cover to expose the connectors on the right side of the module. Connect the DC input wires to the terminal block in this order. A. Ground cable to the ground connector on the terminal block. B. Negative source DC cable to the negative connector on the terminal block. C. Positive source DC cable to the positive connector on the terminal block. D. Replace the terminal cover. Check the two LEDs located on the power supplies to confirm that the power supplies are operating and receiving power. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. To remove a power supply, simply unplug the power cord. Next, press the ejector handles on the side of the PSU. And last, pull the power supply module until it's completely removed from the chassis. To install a power supply module, slide the module into the slot until it clicks. Plug the power cord into the corresponding power supply. Inspect the power supply LED found on the power supply module to ensure proper operation. Refer to the section Power Supply Module LEDs for help. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. Use the CLI command Show Environment Power to verify proper installation of the power supplies. This command displays the status of all power supplies in the switch. The status of the power supply should say OK. The 7000 series 1RU Gen 2 features either front to back or back to front cooling. Fan modules are accessed from the rear panel. Fan modules are inserted into the back of the switch. Each switch contains four fan modules. The 7000 series features N plus one fan redundancy. If one fan module fails on a fabric module, the remaining fans will supply sufficient cooling for that fabric and area of the chassis. Recall that there are also fans integrated within the power supplies. If a power supply or power supply integrated fan fails, three fans in the remaining power supplies are sufficient to cool the system. Fan status LEDs can be found on the fan modules itself. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. If the switch is installed and operating properly, you may also check the fan module status LED located on the front panel of the switch. Use this chart as a reference to determine status. Use the CLI command show environment cooling to verify all fans are operational. This command displays the fan status, airflow direction, and ambient switch temperature. The status column should say OK for every installed fan. Use the CLI command show environment temperature to verify temperature sensors are normal. This command displays a table that lists the temperature measured by each sensor in the switch. The temperature levels should be below the alert and critical thresholds. Each port has its own indicator LED. Port LEDs are located in the vicinity of the corresponding ports and provide link and operational status. There is one LED for a SFP port and four LEDs for a QSFP port. Use this chart to determine status of port LEDs. Verify the switch operation with the help of the commands given in this table. Thank you for watching the hardware series guide for Arista Network 7000 7150 series 1RU Gen 2 data center switches. Please visit arista.com or contact the Arista TAC for additional questions and assistance.